hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem in this problem we have these three forces and we are required to find the resultant of these three forces right and we have to find the angle of that resultant measured clockwise from the positive x axis is right so if you want to find the resultant of these three forces what we need to do is that we need to find the our x component of the resultant that is the component of the resultant acting in the positive x direction right in the along the x direction right so our x is equal to the summation of all forces or components along the x axis is right so for that we need to resolve these three forces right so summation of all the components along x will be equal to let's say that this is f1 let's say this is f2 and let's say this is f3 right so it will be equal to f1x plus f2x plus f3x right so f1x f2x and f3x are the components of these three forces in the along the x axis is right so if i resolve f1 into its components right so we will have uh, one component of f1 in this direction right and similarly we will have one another component of f1 parallel to the y axis is in this direction right so this one this will be f1 x and this one will be f1 y right so let's say that f1 is making some angle theta here right so if we are considering this theta so then we are given this triangle right so if the, if we are considering this theta so then we will be considering this theta from this triangle right so if if this is the angle theta then f1 x is the cos component right so we can write that our x is equal to f1 x is 40 cos of theta right so we can write that this is 40 cos of theta right plus and as we can see that this 30 pound force f2 is only acting in the positive x direction right so this means that f2 x is equal to f2 and equals to 30 pounds right and f2 y is 0 right since it is acting only in the x direction right so this means that f2 x is 30 pounds and plus and if we resolve f3 into its components right so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this and similarly it will have one another component which will be acting like this right the the length of this uh, f1x is small right so let me draw it again right so let's say that this is f3x this is f3x and this is f3y right so if we consider this angle let's say if we are considering this angle or we are considering that this angle is alpha right so then we are given this triangle so then we will consider this angle alpha right so this means that f3x is the cos component of this f3 right so we can write that f3x is 90 91 pounds right so this is 91 cos of alpha right so from this triangle cos of theta cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse right so we can write that cos of theta is 3 divided by 5 plus 30 plus 91 and cos of alpha from this triangle right this be this is 5 this is 12 and the hypotenuse is 13 right so cos of alpha from this triangle is base divided by hypotenuse right so this is 5 divided by 13 right so when we solve this so our x is equal to 89 pounds right so let me write that our x is equal to 89 pounds right and it is acting in the positive x direction since its sign is positive right now we will find the r y component of the resultant so r y will be equal to the summation of all components along the y axis is right so this is equal to so we will write that this is f1y plus f2y plus f3y right so our y equals to right so uh, f1y if we consider this triangle then f1y is the sine component of f1 right so we can write that this is 40 sine of theta right so we can write that this is 40 sine of theta and sine of theta from this triangle is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse right so it is 4 divided by 5 right so i will multiply this 
I will replace sin theta by this ratio 4 divided by 5 right and as we can see that this f2 is only acting in the positive x direction right. So, uh, f2 y is 0 right. So, we will write that this is 0 and similarly f3 y is also the sine component right. If we consider this triangle then f3 y is and uh, this is 91 sine of alpha and sine of alpha from this triangle is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. So, it is 12 divided by 13 right. So, we can write this is 9 91 into 12 divided by 13 and as we can see that this f 3 y is acting in the negative y direction. So, we will write that this is acting in the negative. So, we will subtract it right. So, this is minus 91 into 12 divided by 13. So, now when we solve this so r y is equal to minus 52 pounds right. So, r y equals to minus 52 pounds right. So, our x is positive right. So, let us say that this is my positive x axis is and this is my negative y axis is right. So, if I draw the r x component of the resultant right. So, our x is acting in the positive x direction right and r y is acting in the negative y direction like this. So, if we add up r x and r y. So, this will give us the resultant right. So, the resultant will be from the tail of our x to the head of our y right. So, this is r x, this is r y and this is r and we are required to find the angle with the positive x axis and the angle need to be measured in the clockwise direction right. So, we are required to find this uh, angle let us say that this angle is phi right. So, if you want to find this phi angle we can apply tan phi. So, tan phi will be equal to r y divided by r x and phi will be equal to so r y is 52 pounds this will be equal to 10 inverse 52 divided by 89. So, this is 30.30 right. So, this phi is 30.30 degrees right. And similarly, if you want to find the resultant magnitude, so again we can apply Pythagoras theorem to this right angle triangle, right. So, then r will be equal to r x square plus r y square and then we will take square root, right. So, r x is 89 plus 52 square, 89 square plus 52 square. So, this gives us 103 right. So, we can write that the resultant is approximately equal to 103 pounds right. So, this is the resultant magnitude and this is the angle of the resultant measured in the clockwise direction from the positive x axis right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem.